Right. Ooh, we Bunch got questions. Let's start from the top. All right. Is alcohol allowed in res? Good question. Thank you for asking that. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. Do you want to answer that? Yes. Alcohol <laughs> is allowed in residence. Uh, there are certain areas where we ask you to only consume alcohol. Um, your rooms, you're, you're allowed to have alcohol in the common room if you're watching a hockey game or something like that. But we ask that it's one beverage in a plastic container and, and you keep maybe the rest of your six pack up in your room. But yes, you're allowed to have alcohol, alcohol in your room. Yeah, and as long as you're abiding by the the laws as well. Mm -hmm. So the drinking age in Quebec is 18. Um, and we ask that if you are underage that you respect that. And um, just as any law, we, we ask you to respect the, the law of the land, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> so the second question I see is, I am vegan. Can I get uh, any vegan goods at Dewey's? I came to Bishop's a vegan. Um, it was my choice to to choose out of the vegan lifestyle, uh, not because of the food. But yes, absolutely. There are lots and lots of different options. And Chef is really good about introducing new ones. Mm -hmm. And like any food option, if you have any suggestions, recommendations, favorites, recipes you want to share, they're really open to doing so. Yeah. And we, we have a dining committee and we mm -hmm. strongly encourage vegans, vegetarians, anybody with kind of a... Uh, a more particular uh, diet to sit on it just so that they can always give their feedback and therefore we can enhance the the dining meal plan for for any um, needs that you may have. Mm -hmm. If we choose Patterson, can we pick a dining plan that isn't the sweet style one? Yes, so you can have um, you can have any type of the meal plan, whether it's a Patterson sweet style or the, uh, one of the continuous dining meal plans. Um, you can choose any one bit, but of course, being in residence, you do have to have one that you do have to have a dining plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah you, you don't have to have the Patterson one just because you live in Patterson. You can eat every meal at Dewey's if you want and only make coffee in your Patterson yeah. kitchen if you want. That's fine. Yeah. Um, as a Patterson resident with the sweet meal plan, how much does it cost every time we go into Dewey's? Okay, so if you choose not, or if you want to use your declining balance towards meals at Dewey's, there is different costs associated with each time. Um, I believe breakfast is around $6. Six, seven dollars. Something yeah. like that. Lunch is around 10, dinner's around 12. Yeah. However, the exact prices are on uh, the resident's website. Um, under the, the dining and meal plan section. So I know that that's there. Again, around prices for us. Let's see. Dewey's cookies are life. Yeah, yeah. they are really good. Dewey's cookies <laughs> are really good. And you're allowed to take some out with you when you go. So if you, know, you have to head to class, you're allowed to take a cookie or two as long as you just say hi to Trudy on your way out. And yeah, they're incredible. Okay, someone asked, what's the dish on the bottom left side? <laughs> of the presentation. Oh, okay. So that was a crepe, actually. Yeah, so I believe, Brennan, you mentioned that. Yeah, there's a crepe station where you can get sweet or savory crepe. Um, slash, they have a whole array of uh, fruit they can have put in it. Um, Fruits, meats, cheeses, Yeah, sauces. anything you want. Chocolate sauce, strawberry sauce. And so they, they pretty much just, it's an, <laughs> they make amazing crepes. So that was a crepe that you saw. And it's definitely as good as it looks. Yeah, they're dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Can you take food back to your residence after going to Dewey's, for example, a to-go container? So we actually ask no that you don't. Um, if you do, I know Warren mentioned before about the boxed lunches. If you feel as though you're going to have a late night of studying past 1130 <laughs> mm -hmm. or you don't have the opportunity to grab dinner during the meal time or anything like that, we do ask that you order a box lunch. Um, however, because we are a continuous dining and if you want an apple, you can go in, swipe, get an apple and come out. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have that option of to-go food. Yeah. All right, next question. Is there opportunity for the outdoor activities for students who are not on the eco floor or is it only for those students in particular? If, if you physically don't live on the eco floor but you still want to get involved with community, no problem, absolutely. Obviously, it, it is better if you're all together on one floor and, and living as a group. Um, and I guess we do ask that 
if you do choose to participate in the EcoFloor, that you do commit yourself. And it's not just one event here, one event there, just because it is a community that develops together. Mm -hmm. so, so the answer is yes. If you don't live on the floor, you still can get involved with it. The other thing, too, just in case um, with this question, we do run more outdoorsy activities mm -hmm. for students generally in residence. Um, we have some buildings where, as you know, Norton, they'll go rock climbing together. So the whole building has the opportunity to go and participate in that. And or hikes. Your, yeah, or hikes. And it's your your engagement level that determines that. Um, however, if you do like outdoorsy stuff, I would highly recommend the eco floor because more likely than not, you will be outside. <laughs> And, and there's a question underneath yeah. it just about the leadership community as well. Same kind of same answer. Yes, you can join it even though you don't live on the floor. It's more ideal if you're all together, but if not, the more the merrier. Yeah. Um, how do you join the LLC? In your application page and on the resident's website, there is um, a link to the LLC, and there is also a link underneath on the LLC page that says apply to be a member of the community. Um, if not, if uh, the link isn't working for some reason, I'll look into that, but also just send an email to residents at ubishops.ca with the headline saying LLC um, interest, and we'll consider you for that position and you'll probably get a phone call from me. I'll give you a call and, and say hi and we can talk about getting that to work. <laughs> yeah. When do I pay the $700 payment because there's nothing showing for me to pay for that online? So uh, August 7th, so we need to pay for that. Mm -hmm. um, once again, if you have more specific questions on payments, contact contacting the Patterson front desk, 2685, that's their extension. That's those are the most knowledgeable people, knowledgeable people in that specific area. All right. Um, if I requested a room with a double bed, what if someone else shows in on move-in day before me and takes my bed because of the drive? Um, that shouldn't be an issue because we do assign specific areas to each student. So if you're in a double room, you have requested a double bed and we were able to accommodate that. Um, they'll be labeled kind of like bed A, bed B. So when you move into that room, you have bed B, and that is yours. Your keys, your paperwork, everything is assigned to that side. So your roommate shouldn't take the bed. <laughs> it, shouldn't. Shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem. We have yet to experience that, but yeah. it should not be a problem because we do have it specifically assigned. Yeah. Uh, do we have to arrive right at 9.30 or anytime after 9.30? Anytime after 9.30, to be honest. I mean, if you get there right on the dot, Great. If not, uh, we have people who are willing to check you in at pretty much any hour of the evening that you arrive. Yeah. So. It's just if you arrive at 6 in the morning, you're probably going to be waking up your RAs. <laughs> yeah. To, to they may not be too in. happy, but, but they will be because you're there. <laughs> but, yeah, you don't have to arrive right at 9.30. We say 9.30 just as a gauge. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Is there any storage for bikes or snowboards in residence? Yes, we do. We have temporary storage. Um, some of them are behind lock and key that the RAs only have access to. Uh, the only issue with that that you have to keep in mind is that if you need your equipment, you then have to find your RA to get that equipment out. And your RAs are students just like you. They might be in class, they might be sleeping, they might be out skiing or spiking themselves. So you do need to make sure that if you do put that stuff behind the locked door that you give yourself and uh, the RAs enough time to get it back out. Yeah. All right, are coffee makers allowed? Yes, yes they are. We understand <laughs> what it's like waking up for an early class and needing that Java. So yes, coffee makers are allowed. Yes, they definitely are. Um, I'm an international student. How am I going to get a mini fridge? Um, some great things to do. I would look at something like um, the Bishop's Furniture Swap. It's a Facebook page or even there's lots of stores here in town like the Walmarts, the um, Canadian Tires yeah. have mini fridges that you can purchase if you come here. But there's lots of students who are usually selling used ones from years before that are in perfectly good condition. Yeah. Uh, da -da, okay. Do we need to bring our sports equipment directly on the first day? No, you don't need to. You can bring it up whenever it's convenient for you. Um, so whenever, whatever time works for you. Yeah, the best ski season here is after uh, the Christmas holidays anyways. Yeah. Um, yes, J-Peak does open up in late November, early December. However, you will be very preoccupied with exams at that point. 
let's see. Would our sports equipment have to be stored in our rooms? Oh, I think we answered that already. Yeah. Some students do. However, we do have that extra area. Don't we have the next one? Uh, the, yeah, you can go. Okay. Uh, I'm an exchange student, but I've been waitlisted. Is there any possibility that I can get a room? There's still a possibility for you to get the to get a room uh, in residence, but we always suggest anyone who's been waitlisted to just have a backup plan, look off campus just in case you don't get accepted. Fingers crossed you do, but um, just have a backup plan and, and look locally uh, for some rooms. Absolutely. Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, we do have Wi-Fi on campus. Some of our residences have the Wi-Fi in the buildings themselves, but there are very few places on campus where you don't get Wi-Fi. So yeah. you will you will have it. As well, every room, um, we have an Ethernet cable, so like that internet into your room as well, so that if for some reason the Wi-Fi is overloaded or being spotty, you have that direct connection as well. So lots and lots. All right, can you describe a keener double room, please? I guess this would be the deluxe. The suite? The, yeah. Or, uh, yeah, do you want me? Yeah, so, so with the Keener doubles, essentially what you have is, so uh, you have two rooms that share a bathroom. So in a Keener double, you have in one room, sorry, camera's here. You have <laughs> one room where there will be, um, there are elevated beds. So two elevated beds in one room. There'll be desks underneath them, wardrobe and dresser. And therefore you'll have three people sharing that one bathroom. It sounds like it's a lot of people and clothing in one space, but they're surprisingly spacious. Mm -hmm. So like I said, elevated beds with desks and chairs underneath and uh, each person gets their own separate dresser and kind of wardrobe. Yeah, sometimes um, if you want to Google it, sometimes it's called dormer style yeah. um, furniture. That's what it is. And as Warren said, it's, it's quite spacious actually, um, as long as you're not keeping both of you bikes and golf equipment yeah. and skis in the room. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's really, it's not uh, too tight at all. Um, let me see. What if we are unable to make it for the specific move-in day? That's perfectly fine. Move-in day starts on the Saturday, as does res orientation that night, but we continue residence orientation on the Sunday. Lots of students move in on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as well. Come whenever you can, um, but it doesn't have to be specifically just that one day. Yeah. Can you bring a printer, kettle, or microwave in your room? Printer, absolutely. Microwave, yeah, not an issue. And, and kettle, as long as it's uh, it doesn't require a hot plate and it's just kind of one of the boiler kettles, I yeah, guess. Yeah, if it's an electric kettle, yeah. absolutely. No problem. So no problem. yes to all three. Um, what about bicycles? I think we've addressed this as well. And there's lots of places to lock up your bicycles in the basements of the residences as well. I know supper is included for move-in day, but it's lunch included as well for the whole family. Uh, not lunch. Once again, we have the barbecue, which starts in the evening. Um, so that would be a good time to maybe explore Sherbrooke a bit with your family and go out for a, a meal downtown. But no, we don't have lunch specifically. You as the student, though, your meal plan starts that day once you've signed in. But um, it's also a great opportunity for your parents to experience Dewey's for 11, 10-ish dollars. <laughs> yeah. What does it mean that Munster is 24 hours silent? So what that means is that uh, in residence, we do have quiet hours where we ask that uh, certain days of the week, it starts at 11 o'clock p.m. On Fridays and Saturday nights, it does start at 1 a.m. Um, but we ask students to be respectful and quiet so that you know residence is not only where you live, but it's where you study. And in order to recharge and be ready for your, your studies and classes, you do need to get a good night's sleep. So Munster, however, we do ask is quiet all the time. So instead of it being quiet hours starting at 11 o'clock, we ask that the noise is quiet and respectful at all times. So if you're watching TV on your computer without earphones, that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But it's just you can't have your door open with the music blasting so that everyone on the floor can hear it. That's what we mean by that. We can still socialize and meet people. <laughs> yeah. In what residence hall do the living learning communities take place? So the leadership community mm -hmm. is what? is located in uh, McKinnon and Patterson is home to the eco floor. All right. You want to answer the next one? 
bed sizing. Um, so most of our beds are single beds um, and we do have some double beds. So if you're in Patterson and your room that you get assigned to, because there's four rooms in the suite, so there's A, B, C, and D. If you're in a D room, then your bed will be a double bed. Um, however, if you have a specific question, if you're unsure in Patterson, then send an email to residences and specify, say, I'm in Patterson, is my bed a single or a double? Let They will let you know exactly. Or if you've made a special request and say, you know, I need a double bed, then your bedding will more likely than not need a double bedding. Mm. How quiet is a quiet residence? I think we answered that already. It's quiet, but you can still talk and meet people. It's, it's respectful. It's, yeah, it's respectful. <laughs> it really is. Can you join an LLC after you've applied to residence? Yes, you can. However, we do ask that if you're thinking about it, if it's something that you're interested in, take the plunge, apply. You're probably not going to regret it. Um, it's much easier to, to be a member from the start because we do do that orientation at the beginning and there's lots of activities that build upon each other um, as opposed to, to jumping in later on. So we do ask that you, you try to apply at the beginning because that would be fun. I'm not an alcohol consumer. What am I going to do? Lots. Yeah, there's there's <laughs> still tons of ways to socialize and get involved with the community without having to drink um, or get drunk. So so don't worry about that. We have tons of students that we, we speak with all the time who are doing great with meeting people and forming their own social groups. So don't worry about alcohol and, and using that as a way to meet people. Yeah, no, there's, there's lots to do mm. regardless of what beverage you choose to consume. Yeah. Um, are there kettles and microwaves in the common rooms? Um, not uh, random. It, random, yeah, <laughs> it, it changes. Uh, if you would like a microwave or a, a kettle, I would bring your own. Um, I know in McKinnon there's definitely a microwave. Um, but yeah, it changes. It varies. If you're when in doubt, <laughs> yeah, if you're worried about buying your own uh, microwave or kettle, to be honest, almost everybody brings their own microwave and kettle. So if you don't bring one, just become friends with people on your floor and you'll have uh, tons of other, other microwaves and kettles to use. So it's not that big of a deal if you don't bring one. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're going to jump down to this one. Uh, what's the difference between Norton, Pollock, and McKinnon? So Norton, Pollock, and McKinnon are all traditional style residence buildings, which means that um, you're placed in either a single or double room and you share your gender specific washroom on your floor. Uh, McKinnon is closer to the other residence buildings and Dewey's, whereas Norton and Pollock, they're actually connected and they're on, I don't wanna say the other side of campus, but they're closer to the classrooms. As far as difference goes, Norton and Pollock are older buildings and they have more of that, um, I guess, traditional mm -hmm. style look to them whereas McKinnon would be the newer residents. They, they both offer the, the same facilities, uh, same bedrooms, like I said, doubles and singles, as well as a shared washroom um, on, on the floor. I, I think that's kind of really it. Yeah, honest. location would be the only difference. And yeah. I think the walking time between the two is, I'm gonna say four to five minutes, depending on your yeah. pace. Yeah, so exactly. It's really not very far. It's not like you're commuting yeah. from one end of campus to the other. Um, are there elect restrictions to electronics and residences, coffee makers, grilled cheese makers? Um, yes to coffee makers, we're fine with that. Something like a grilled cheese maker is um, something we would lean more away from. So we say you're allowed to have uh, different devices in your room. However, we don't want anything with an open element. So like a toaster, we would, we would ask you not to bring a toaster oven or um, like a space heater that has open elements to it because of the fire hazard that it could pose. Um, but we do have great panini presses and Dewey's. So if you want a grilled cheese, you can get a mean grilled cheese there. Yeah. What time are the hot meals served? Uh, so breakfast is- Seven? seven when it opens, pretty much 7.30 until I think nine-ish on the weekdays. Yeah. Um, lunch is from 11.30 to 2.30 and then dinner is 4.30 until I think eight. Yeah, yeah so so there is, uh, they are open for quite a while and it, it does change a bit on the weekends. 
Um, I'd assume that's the same schedule this upcoming academic year, but it could change just slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is about taking food to go with Dewey's, which we have already touched upon. However, it does ask about coffee. Um, we have great coffee at Dewey's, not only the drip coffee, but there's also like an espresso machine where you can go and choose your espresso, your cappuccino, your American Americano coffee. So we just ask that you bring a reusable cup or mug in with you, your travel mug, and then you're welcome to, to take that out with you as well. Uh, is there a place I can keep my hockey equipment? Yep, as we said, the residence common uh, storage areas. Uh, as far as drying it out, <laughs> yeah, hockey equipment can kind of smell bad. There is the space for you to air it out, um, but maybe, yeah, honestly in the common rooms, that's what's been done in the past and that's what works out. Um, the next question is, are you allowed to switch roommates if you have any complications? Um, we do have that option later on in the semester, and that's after you've met with one of the residence life coordinators. So usually if it's, you know, a conflict of timing of sleep schedules, you know, you have full heavy morning schedules, your roommate has late night schedules, and they just aren't matching up, we usually, you know, try to talk it out, see what's going on, see if any accommodations can be made. However, if a room does need to be changed, um, we will meet and see what we can do. However, the main issue is space. We can't displace another student in order to replace you. So there would have to be a space available. So it's kind of like a big Jenga game. Yeah. Is the organic garden uh, for the Dewey's kitchen or can students use produce from it as well? And is it exclusive to the eco floor? So Dewey's kitchen does not use the organic garden. Um, as far as students go, I think, yeah, they, they can get involved. A lot of students, to be honest, are so busy when they arrive here, they don't really get involved like, like they can. But yes, pretty much any student can get involved. And of course, especially the eco floor, we, we encourage them to. So the way the garden works is there's different plots. Um, and some of the plots are designated specifically for one of our biology classes. That is like organic gardening is what it's called. Uh, so if you do want to go into the garden, if you're interested in it, please either contact the Ecoflora RA or myself and we can come show you and say, you know, yes, you are welcome to use um, some of these products because you don't want to go in and then just take someone else's vegetables if they had a different purpose or intent for them. Um, but if gardening is something you're interested in, then again, I'm going to push Ecoflor. <laughs> Apply for it. Uh, I got lost here. What kitchen equipment is provided in Patterson? Is that what yes. asked that? No, okay. Um, there is none, actually. So you need to bring your own pots, pans, cutlery, dishes, all that kind of stuff. There is a fridge, there's a stove, yes. there's a sink, there's all that. <laughs> Plumbing. <laughs> yeah, but as for like the actual utensils, you need to coordinate that with your roommates. I mm -hmm. definitely recommend talking to your suite mates once you find out who they are so you don't all arrive and have four microwaves. Yeah. Uh, does the LLC have its own floor in residence? Yes. Um, so each of the floors, the eco floor and the leadership community, will both have their own specific floors in residence. Um, so they they are there, but they're not like locked off from everyone else. It's just like okay, this part of the hallway is all eco floor. Yeah. So they will interact with everyone else as well. How much is laundry, and is there an ironing board? Uh, I believe for both washing and drying, it's like a dollar. 10 maybe a dollar 25 um per load that you do and as far as an ironing board you should be bringing your own yeah because each each apartment doesn't have an ironing board mm -hmm. where were we supposed to request for a double bed or well, how do you request um so again that would be in your residence application if it, there was a spot on it that said any specific questions or requirements that's where that would be a great place if you were unable to write that in at the time then send an email to residence at ubishops.ca say you know my name is brenna i asked to live in mckinnon however i would really need a double bed because i'm really tall or something like that so so let us know the reason why and we can definitely accommodate to that the best that we can when is the deadline for guaranteed residence? Um, I believe June. it's June 1st. Yeah. Um, but the sooner the better. So get it in and we'll, because we want to see you in res. It'll be fun. Uh, let's see. 
will I have a bus or a cab to pick me up from the airport? If you are coming in to the Montreal airport, what I would recommend is getting a shuttle company that can drive you from the airport to the Bishop's campus for a fee of around $80, yeah, I, I think bet. it is, because with Montreal traffic and the distance, it is about a two hour drive. So I would recommend going that route versus um, hiring a cab because it will be more cost effective. Mm. No, go ahead. Uh, can we show up at 9 if we want? You can, but you can't move in yet until 9.30, to be honest, just because uh, just the way everything's spaced out, we are not ready until 9.30. So, yeah, you can uh, park your car, walk around the campus a bit. That's actually a great idea, but you cannot physically move in yet until 9.30. Um, if you have a car, is there a car a parking lot? We do have parking on campus. Um, Sometimes it can get a little full because we do share a camp with, with Champlain College and they have a large uh, commuter population of students. So you absolutely can bring your car onto campus and we have parking available for you. When you arrive on campus, you go to security, you will purchase a parking pass from them. And uh, as long as you have that in your car, you're good to go. Are double beds only for double rooms? How do you ask for one? So double beds are not only for double rooms. Uh, once again, on your application form, when you fill it out, you mark down if you want a double bed, and depending on the residence that you get accepted in, will dictate whether you can get one or not. Um, are there any accommodations for students with anxiety to move in early to be more settled in of the day of? Um, at this point, we are asking students to move in on the 29th. However, to this specific person who wrote the question, please send us an email. And if you like, we can contact you directly um, and and see what we can do. Um, because if you do want more time to settle in, I mean, a great option is coming. We understand that moving here can be stressful and can sometimes feel overwhelming. Um, you're not alone in feeling that way. And sometimes having your family stay an extra night close by to kind of help is, is a great option that we recommend. Is there an indoor bike uh, storage where we can lock it up so that we do not need an RA? There is not one. Um, like I said, if, if you do decide to lock it up indoors, you will need an RA to let you in. There, of course, are outdoor bike racks, but if you want to keep it indoors, you do need an RA to let you in and out. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there a quiz bowl team? If not, how can I start one? So uh, I have not heard of a quiz bowl team on campus, so you're welcome to start one. But the best thing to do would be to contact the Student Representative Council. They handle all of our clubs and organizations on campus. Or if you want to start one in res, then talk to your RA or put up posters and you can definitely do that. Nothing's stopping you. Uh, car on campus, we answered that already. Can you get a double bed in a single room or would that be too squishy <laughs> to request a double bed? Um, what happens right now is no, you do not necessarily get a, a double bed in uh, a single room unless it is a, a specified, this room has a double bed, which is pretty much only in Patterson. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if for some medical reason you really need one, please talk to the Patterson front desk and they can work that out with you. And the reason why our rooms have single beds, so everyone doesn't suddenly request double yeah. beds, because we don't have that many of them, is for the spacing. So we recognize that, you know, a single bed, they are, like, I slept on a single bed when I was in res comfortably. I was perfectly happy with it. Um, it's there so that you have more room, for lack of a better term, activities but, so you have more space in your room so that's why we do put single beds in the residence rooms um, but like we said if you need a double bed we can do our best to accommodate you for that um, are there shuttle buses from bishops to montreal city to city absolutely there's a bus company oh no i just lost it limo car it's called limo yeah. car and it's a bus that can pick you up right from the bishops campus and bring you um to Montreal, but if it's from the airport, I definitely recommend looking for those shuttle buses. Yeah, Aero Nivelle, thank you. Nivette. <laughs> Nivette. Nivette. Aero Nivette. And they are the company that will take you um, from the airport here onto campus. For the washer and dryer, do you use change or a card that you put money on to use them? Uh, you pretty much just put money onto a card. When you come here, we'll, we'll, you'll get the rundown from your RA about the card that you used to put money on. 
BSSL through a card. You load up the card on special machines, um, and then you can use it to swipe when you do your laundry. Yeah. Um, does McKinnon have Wi-Fi? Um, McKinnon specifically does not have Wi-Fi right now. However, all the buildings around McKinnon do, so you usually pick up um, the Wi-Fi no matter what. All right, next question. How do you know if you're waitlisted for residence? You should uh, get an email or a phone call from Patterson notifying that you're waitlisted. Um, but if you're not sure, just call them to double check, but you should receive notification that you are. Um, how much does a mini fridge cost? If you're choosing to buy a brand new mini fridge, they range in price of around $100. Um, they start at, at like 89 and they can go up to 200 if you want stainless yeah. steel with a freezer. Um, so that's roughly the cost to, to look for somewhere in there. Can we move furniture? Uh, in your spe in your specified room, yeah, you can rearrange your room accordingly. Uh, some of the residence buildings like Norton Pollock, McKinnon, the desks are built into the walls, so you cannot uh, <laughs> rearrange those. But yes, you can move around your dresser and your bed and things like that. There's no issue. Mm -hmm. um, if we took Patterson as our first choice and it's our first year, what's our luck? of getting our first choice. So that actually really depends on when you apply to residence and when your deposit goes in. So it's based off of your priority as well, not just the year that you're in and the residence you chose. Um, so all of that comes into to factor in with it. Um, so that's really the best way I can answer yeah. that question. Yeah. What furniture is in our residence rooms, and is it just a bed and a desk? No, so in your room, you'll have a bed, a desk, a dresser, night table. Lamp. Uh, usually one to two lamps. Chair. <laughs> Chair <laughs> and, and uh, a closet space. So that is the typical um, furniture for room. Obviously, it may change a bit if you're in a double or in, in, in from Pollock to Patterson. That might change a bit. But, but that is a basic outline of what you'll get for furniture. Um, can I move in a day before the residence move-in day? We ask that you move in on the day. If you can't move in on that date, then you're absolutely allowed to move in afterwards. However, residences will be open and available on that Saturday. So we do ask that you aim for that day as best as you can. I do not remember my residence choices. Where can I check it? Patterson Front Desk, extension 2685. Give them a call, um, and they can help let you know what residence buildings you applied for and if for some reason you need to, to maybe change that order because of whatever reason. Yeah. Are the residences co-ed? Yes, they are. So you will never share a room with someone of the opposite gender, and all of our bathrooms are gender specific. So while your neighbor might be of the opposite gender, your roommate will not, and you do have those separate washrooms. Yeah. If I don't apply to residence yet, is there a chance that I won't be accepted if I apply this week? The longer you wait, uh, the harder your chances are in, into getting accepted into residence. So all I can say is if you want to live in residence and we encourage you that you should apply, you should do it sooner rather than later. So the longer you wait, um, obviously the odds aren't going to be as in your favor as if you apply like now. Yeah, but if you apply this week, absolutely no problem. We yeah. have lots of space, especially for the eight-month leases. So please absolutely come in. Uh, when do we get our pictures taken for our student IDs? Um, you either <laughs> get it taken on the day of when you arrive, so you can have your picture there uh, when you arrive, or you can send it in in advance and they can print it off and have it waiting for you. So if it's a picture that you prefer, send it in. However, if you're wearing a weird hat or you're posing in some theme photo, we ask that you don't send that in as your student ID because um, we want to be able to see you and know who you are. Yeah. Uh, are there microwaves available around the university? Uh, do you have to provide your own? As we said, not really around the university, just in a, in a common room, but your friends on your floor will have microwaves. But if that's something you think you're going to use a lot, then, then definitely go out and pick one up. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed uh, soda pop and res? Absolutely. You can bring that beverage. And you can drink as much soda pop as you want. 
uh, visitors in res such as family. Yes, absolutely. People can come and visit you in res. Um, however, one of the things that we do ask you look over is, and we recommend this to everyone, is our residents living community standards. Um, and that is the guidelines that we have all of the students living in residence understand and um, agree to. So one of the things is our guest policy. So we ask that no guests stay in residence during frosh week or during exams. That way it is really specific to the students of the university. Um, and you could, that way, especially during exams, you can focus on the exams themselves. As well, keep in mind, if you do have any guests, you are responsible for their behavior in residence. So even if Warren's my guest in res and he's, I don't know, accidentally breaks my window, I'm responsible for it because he's leaving at the end of the weekend. He's like, I'm gone. <laughs> don't live here. So keep that in mind if ever you have visitors. Is there a lot of room available in McKinnon Hall uh, as in closet space and desk? Yes, McKinnon actually has a lot of space when Very it comes spacious. to the closet and desk drawer areas. Um, so I wouldn't say bring your entire wardrobe, but, uh, but you can bring a fair amount of clothing. Yeah. Is there any space under your bed to store things? Yes, there is. Um, so there's uh, a little bit of space, probably about half a foot under each of the desks or under each of the beds, sorry. However, a lot of students do have spacers. You can purchase them at many different like home outfitters and uh, bed, bath and beyond sort of places where you can raise the bed up a little bit more to put more storage under there. But there is um, lots of room. Okay. In single bedrooms in Munster, what are the dimensions of the bed? I honestly could not tell you off the top of my head. It says it on the on the residence website uh, because actually a student emailed me a couple weeks ago with somewhat of a similar question. If you go uh, on the Bishop's web page, click on the residence section, it says it all there. So if you want specific dimensions of things, it lays it out for you with, I believe, like an aerial view as well. So mm -hmm. check out the website. How many friends from home can visit at a time or staying in my room? Um, again, I would really uh, caution spacing. Uh, we do have mattresses available that you can rent from your RA to have for a friend uh, or a guest staying over. Um, but space is of the essence. I would say any more than two is no longer a party. It's kind of crowded. But um, just remember that you are responsible. And if you do have a roommate, you have to keep them in mind and communicate with them and say, you know, hey, my sister's coming up to visit for the weekend. Are you okay with that? Is this a good weekend? Is that something um, that we can that we can do? All right, I heard there were a lot of parties at Bishops. How often do they typically occur and how disrupting will they be if I want to sleep or study? I mean, to be honest, Bishops is just like any other university where students like to socialize at, at key points of the year, right? You know, when they first move in, um, Halloween, end of the year, and it's not to the point where if you don't want to get involved, it'll completely disrupt your, your life pattern. But um, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that, to be honest, because because there are... There, yeah, there are tons of other areas to get involved, meet people, as we said before, but it it's not to the point where you can't sleep or study, not at all. Yeah, and the RAs are also there to help be that voice. So if you're, you know, upset by um, some noise that's going on, you know, you, you need help, but you're not necessarily comfortable going and knocking on one of your uh, neighbor's doors and saying, you know, hi, I'm sorry, can you turn down your music a bit? The RAs are happy to do that for you. Um, so, yeah, as Warren said, you can dial in and out as much as you want. However, residence is our place to sleep, uh, play and learn as well, but sleep is key sometimes. Right. Um, are there any games rooms? Mm. That one. Oh, sorry. Is it recommended that we bring a printer? Um, personally, I would recommend bringing a printer. I did both non-printer and printer in certain years in university, and it was always the years when I didn't have a printer that I had to print something at two in the morning. So I would recommend a printer in your room. However, the library is very close on campus, as is the printing center to get things done. So if you don't have one, not a problem. Just make sure you do your essay ahead of time. 
<laughs> yeah. Are there any game rooms to socialize, pool, ping pong, etc.? In all the common rooms, uh, not in all the common rooms, in every residence building, there is a pool table, um, which is at the use for the students. All you need to do is contact your RA, they'll get you the equipment, and you guys can, can, can play with that equipment. So yes, there are um, pool tables. I believe in McKinnon there is a ping pong table, but that's the only residence with a ping pong table. And Keener. And Keener. Keener has one too. And Keener. <laughs> so McKinnon and Keener have ping pong if that's what you're going to do. Um, all right. If you're living in Patterson, can you bring stuff like toasters and toaster ovens? Yes, there are. You are allowed to have um, some more of those equipment because you do have that full kitchen there um, but also keep in mind that you do have a full oven so anything that you can cook in a toaster oven you can cook in an oven oven yeah can we visit residents during the summer yes you can as long as you uh, set up an appointment if you really want to specifically tour rooms um, set up an appointment with either recruitment or Harrison front desk uh, because during the summer there are residence rooms are still used for on-campus groups so on campus and off campus but if you want to see specific rooms, just contact uh, Recruitment and Patterson, and they can help help you out with that. Um, so there's one about the co-gender floors, saying that she's a female, wondering if there's full gender floors. We don't have full gender floors at this point. Um, so, But like I said, you will have, um, your roommate will not be of the opposite gender to you. Um, where are we? I'm a girl. Oh, do, do, do. The hockey question? Mm. Oh, oh, what boy. did I do? Oh, no, they went to the very top. <laughs> give me just, just give us a, few a seconds. moment. Oh, oh, we'll pass oh. that. No, no. Let's just see. So we apologize if we skip some of your questions. Um, we kind of went all the way to the top, so now we're just backtracking a bit. Uh, I think yeah, there we go there right go. there perfect that one uh the next one yeah we'll do that one uh, I'm a girl is it worthy for me to bring my hockey equipment if I'm not on the varsity team as far as hockey if, if you don't play on the team uh, I don't believe there's many intramural teams for females but you know what I I encourage you to bring it anyways because if there is an intramural team then you could be the one to start it um, so bring your equipment anyways. If you don't use it, you just put it in the storage room. No big deal. It's not in your room. Um, and if you're passionate about starting something here, then I, I say more power to you. Absolutely bring it. Um, are candles allowed? No. We ask that you don't have any open flame in your room. So again, that kind of goes with the toaster oven. Um, that's all in the RCLS as well. So please do not bring any candles, uh, no incense, because we want to ensure that residence is as safe as possible possible yeah um if i want to bring my car can i get a parking get this one? Uh, we'll yes. that. can you get parking pass yes so when you get here you can get a parking pass and you would get that at the security office which is uh connected to do her dining hall mm -hmm. you, you'll see they have their own separate entrance but when you get here talk to security oh did i do it again yeah you did yeah. If I need to buy stuff such as a large appliance, how would I transport it to the school? There, for a number of companies, there are usually um, shipping methods, and you can absolutely put um, Bishop's University as your location. This one right here. If I'm doing a practicum, can I request a lunchbox for continuous days, or are they reserved for occasional quests only? Absolutely, yep. Just say, um, it's better if you can almost go to Dewey's and say, listen, I'm going to be gone every Friday for the next two months, let's say. Can I have a box lunch that I pick up either the night before or that morning? They'll say, yeah, no problem. They'll make them for you. And, yeah, it's not a problem that you can get a box lunch for continuous off-campus events like that. Mm hmm uh, where is the nearest hospital to the university? Is there a doctor or nurse on campus? We are very fortunate here at Bishop's University not only to have doctors and nurses on campus, but our hospital is literally just down the road from us. Um, so located in our new sports facility is our healthcare center. So as a student, you can go in and book an appointment to see the nurse, you know, within, if not that day, then in the next couple days and usually a doctor's visit to follow very shortly after. So they are there and available to help you out. 
um, as well as our security team is all trained first responders. And if there are any issues that arise after the clinic is closed, then security or one of us respond to the incident and we ensure that you get the help needed as quickly as possible. Yeah. How do we hang pictures in our room without putting holes in the walls? So for for picture, so for posters, we uh, we suggest that you guys get sticky tack. They sell that at the bookstore. Um, and then for actual pictures or frames, you can get um, it's like a sticky hook mm -hmm. that goes onto the wall. They sell them at the bookstore. And then at the end of the year, when you leave, you pull this little tab. It pulls it off the wall without taking the paint. No fuss, no muss. It, it works no problem. But for any poster or picture hanging, they have the supplies here at the bookstore. Mm -hmm. Is there air conditioning in Patterson? It's not air conditioning. We call it, it's called an air exchange. So what it does is it circulates the air through the building and it's always cooler in there. However, none of our buildings at this point are air conditioned because um, August, late August and September is hot. And then we get a good Quebec winter. So yeah. <laughs> you're going to want that heat way more than air conditioning. Yeah. Uh, how much should be loaded onto our Gator Dollars card? Honestly, it, it depends up to you. If you think you're going to be printing a lot, doing a lot of laundry, um, I mean, you can start off with $20 and go from there. I think $20 is a good starting point, and then yeah. just assess it as the semester and year goes on. Yeah, and you can always add more at yeah, any time. Yeah, and, and like we said, there's uh, machines all across the, all across campus that you can use to just plug in the card, Put in a five, ten, twenty dollar bill, load it up. It takes thirty seconds. It's, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. uh, when is the earliest you can purchase a parking pass, and will they run out of them? I do not think they can ever run out of them. There's, <laughs> they, I don't think that's possible. And it's easy just to purchase them when you arrive on the day of. I don't think you can purchase them ahead of time. However, if you do have any more questions about that, then if you actually call our security office during. Uh, you know, nine to five, um, they can help you with that question though. Mm -hmm. I miss the details on the dates of when you would know your residence. So you will find out around the end of July for residence. All right. Um, do we need to bring our own mattress? No, we provide mattresses here for you guys. So you don't need to bring one at all. We definitely have lots of mattresses. All right. Do you have to pay weekly for parking, and how much does it cost approximately? You can play. You can pay per semester. Um, I believe for the entire year it's one thirty, one hundred thirty dollars. I believe. Do you remember how much it is for parking on campus? One hundred five. Yeah, it's it's not expensive at all. Um, so just a bit over a hundred dollars budget for. Um, are there TVs in residence? Yes. In all of our common rooms, we have big flat screen. Some of them are 3D uh, TVs. So yes, we have lots of TVs. They all have satellite. They all have DVD players and HDMI cables available. If you want to hook up your laptop and watch, uh, watch any movies, then they are there for you guys to use. Uh, if I miss the beginning of the webinar, where can I watch it? Um, so yeah, this was all recorded and and where is there a link specifically that they can watch it on? Watch the, Re, yeah, rewatch this whole oh, thing. Oh, we can send it to them by email. You can send it to them by email? Yeah, okay, so email. we'll take down your name and we'll send it to you by email personally. And we'll have it available on YouTube. And YouTube, you're telling us. So <laughs> you guys will have it on all different platforms. There we go. Um, what are the rules for attaching things to the walls? Example, sticky tack, 3M hooks. So as Warren mentioned before, we do ask that um, you do attach things by sticky tack because those are the least destructive to our walls. Um, if you do choose to use a 3M hook, please do be careful when you pull that tab off at the end of the semester. Um, but we don't ask, we do ask that you don't put any holes in the walls or intentionally just tape really peels off the paint. I don't know what, it is or why, yeah. but it just mm -hmm. takes it all off. So we ask about that. If I want to send in my own picture for my student ID, do I need to have a white background and where do I send my picture? So you can send your picture into the Patterson front desk, uh, to Patterson, um, and it doesn't have to be a white background, but we ask that it it is with you kind of standing up against something and not maybe you sitting on the beach with sunglasses on. It's because this, this, picture is going to go on your student ID card and if anybody on campus asks for it in relation to, to trying to figure out who you are 
it can't be a picture that they can't really identify that it's you. Mm -hmm. um, RTVs and residents, which you said yes. And is it easy to watch a Habs game? It is very easy to oh, watch yeah. a Habs game here. Oh, yeah. um, it's great, very easy to watch on honestly any sporting game here. Um, so you'll see a lot of times on the residents Facebook pages, students will say, you know, reserve the upper common room at seven for the Habs game or reserve the common room for World Cup soccer. So depending on what's going on, people will sometimes re reserve the TV or, you know, 8 p.m. for the Bachelorette, come on down. So they do have, we have everything. The satellite is very extensive, so you can watch lots of haps. Lots of haps. <laughs> How comfortable are the mattresses? Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, yeah, they're, they're not bad, you know. We don't have students crying about it or not able to sleep. They're, they're comfortable, and if there are any issues, then talk to us, and we will look into it right away. Yeah, these aren't mattresses that we've had for the past 50 years, so don't worry about that. And as Warren said, if your mattress is really uncomfortable, if you need something harder, softer, we can do our best to accommodate to that. Um, can people of the opposite gender stay over, like a guest overnight? Um, again, that's up to your, your living mates that you're staying with. So if you have a roommate and you want to have a guest stay over, uh, in a more romantic sense, make sure that you communicate with them and let them know because sometimes there's nothing more shocking than walking into your room and interrupting your, your roommate or a friend um, while they're with someone. But just make sure you let them know or say, you know, hey, my, my partner is visiting from out of town for the weekend. Are you guys okay with that? Is this all right? So make sure there's lots of open communication. But we do not put any restrictions and say, you know, no, everybody's out of the building. We will be doing bed checks. No, we, we do don't not. Do we do not guard your door. <laughs> there's a library 24/7. No, the library is not 24/7. Uh, they do have extended hours for exams where they're open till 1 or 2 a.m. But um, it, normal uh, normal nights, I believe it closes at around 11:30 midnight. Roughly, it's been a while since I've been in the library that late, but it's not 24 hours. Mm -hmm. uh, does it cost money to print something from the school printers? Yes, it does. I believe it's around 10 cents, five to yeah. 10 cents a page. Like um, so it's up to your discretion whether or not you want to have your own printer from home or print from the school printers. If I don't get accepted for the residence this semester, will there still be place available for single rooms during the winter semester? Yep, there's always that possibility. Um, just make sure you're constantly checking in with Paris and Front Desk and finding out about your status and if you haven't applied, put in the application. Uh, can we hammer into the walls? Again, we ask that you don't. Um, however, if you do choose to do so, you will be charged for the repair fees of the room. Um, and I see the question here is about bulletin boards. We actually provide each student with a bulletin board in the room, uh, sometimes two. So those are there available for you guys. How far is McKinnon from Norton and Pollock? It is, as we said, a four to maybe five minute walk. Uh, and that is just because you have to walk through the student union building. It's, it's not that far. Is there a pharmacy on campus? We currently do not have a, a pharmacy on campus. However, there are two pharmacies. There's a Jean Coutu and a Pharmacry um, just in the borough of Lennoxville right um, on the main street. That's a 15-ish minute walk from campus. So it's very close and very accessible to students. How much is a monthly bus pass and or tokens for Sherbrooke? About sixty dollars a month for a bus pass, and I think tokens are two dollars, three, three something. Yeah, I believe. It, once again, it's been a long time since I've I've been on the bus here, but it's roughly around that, around sixty dollars a month for a pass, I believe. And when it comes to Lennoxville itself, everything's in walking distance within Lennoxville. Yeah. Uh, if you want to go into Sherbrooke, then as we said, it's just a bus token away that's not yeah. very expensive. Um, all right, so we have a question about if it's noisy in res one night, are you able to exit and go to another building? Absolutely. Again, we're not locking down the residence. We're not going to question where, where you're going and when. Um, however, if you are being disrupted in your residence or you're finding it um, yeah, too loud or disrespectful, 
Uh, there's a number of options, one of which is the RAs are happy to go and, and ask the students to either relocate or reconsider how the noise is being made. But you as a peer are always welcome to ask your fellow floor mates, you know, hey, did you know how loud you are right now? Do you mind shutting the door while you watch a movie? Yeah. Something like that. So there are many options in order to control noise. Uh, it's a use of sports center included in our fees, uh, as is just fitness equipment. Things like yoga classes will be included as well. So the fees that you pay, yes, the sports equipment is included. Um, you, If you want to do yoga classes or any of those specific classes, you do have to pay extra. They are not that expensive at all because they do price them for students. So look on the website because they will post them, probably not up yet, but closer closer to the beginning of the semester, they will post the different classes as well as the prices. Um, but, but what you do pay in student fees does cover the kind of basic entrance to the sports equipment and all, all the main facilities. Mm -hmm. um, are there already bulletin boards on the walls in the room? Yes, there absolutely are. Uh, can we have and is it necessary to have heaters in our rooms? Nope, it's not necessary. We have heaters in your rooms for when it gets cold out and if ever you feel that the temperature is not um, quite where you want it, whether it's too hot or too cold, you just talk to one of your RAs or, or Brian or myself and we will look into that and get it fixed. Mm-hmm. Um... Let me see. What is the at, what is the average temperature inside the buildings over the winter? Honestly, I do not know, but you will not be cold. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, usually, you know, it'll be very cold outside and it'll be quite toasty inside. So we've never really had students say that they've been really cold in their rooms or anything. Um, what's the next one? Uh, as students can use the local buses for free. No, you do have to pay. Um, pay a, a monthly membership fee, as we said, about $60, roughly. Uh, we actually have a correction on here. Somebody looked it up on the website. Thank you very much to the student. So parking for the whole year is $155 for a student parking pass. Okay. So thank you to that future student. We look thank forward to you. having you. You are on the ball. Is there enough space in a single for a TV? Yes, there is. I wouldn't suggest getting a huge 50-inch TV. <laughs> Um, probably a 32 inch is all you really need, but yes, there's enough space for you to set up a TV, a little mini entertainment system. Yeah, there is. Uh, do we have to leave residence for the holidays? Um, no, you do not have to leave residence for the holidays. However, we do ask you to fill out an extension or a stay request, letting us know the reason why you aren't going home. The reason why we do recommend that you do go home over the uh, winter break is because it is a fairly long break. Um, from the time that your exams are finished until your classes start up again, it's almost four weeks. And that's a long time to watch Netflix in your room. Uh, Dewhurst does close. So we don't have dining facilities available on campus. And the whole university itself does shut down for two weeks, meaning that the Tim Hortons, the Gator Grill, all of those um, are closed. Yeah. So it can get pretty quiet out here. So we do recommend that you, you do go home for the holidays. Um, or a lot of students who are international or don't have an option of being able to, to leave the campus tend to take vacations down to New York City or Toronto or Montreal or travel around the area and see what the different cities um, in this area of North America have to offer. What if something is damaged in residence? Do we have to find someone to fix it or do we just tell someone? You can either tell someone, either an RA or someone at the Patterson front desk, uh, or you can fill up an online form. Once again, we'll, we'll tell you once you move in here and uh, buildings and grounds will send their appropriate people to fix whatever situation uh, it might be. Mm -hmm. um, can we get into other buildings, common rooms? Um, absolutely. Again, we don't ban you or we don't stop you from going into other buildings. Uh, you're not specific just to McKinnon, but you can't go visit your friends in Norton. You are able to go to the different buildings. However, keep in mind that your keys are specific to, let's say if you live in McKinnon, to McKinnon. So if Warren lives in Norton, he's going to have to bring me into the building and let me in. Yeah. Should we consider buying the mattress toppers? 
I'm thinking that's like the padded ones that you can buy as an option. It's up to you. Yeah, if you if you feel you really need that extra kind of foam comfort support to have a good night's sleep, then I then I say yes. But I mean, tons of students go throughout their time here at Bishops without buying them, especially in residence, and there have been no issues. So if you feel you really need that for a good night's sleep, then I say get it. If not, then it's really not necessary. Um, if I want to get a job on campus, when and how should I apply? So I would recommend that you go through our career counselor on campus um, in the student services department. And when you are on campus, there will be a number of departments that will be looking for, for help. So different um, schools will be looking for tutors or what else is there? A lot of the SRC works with um, jobs on campus. Sports There's, Plex. Yeah, the Sports Plex. Dewey's always looks for students to work there as well. Tim Hortons, those sorts of things. So there are opportunities on campus to work, and the best way to do it is when you get on campus to see what's available. Do res rooms, specifically Patterson, come with a mirror? Yes, they do. So you do not have to worry about getting a mirror. Unless you want a lot of mirrors, then definitely get some. <laughs> Um, are there areas where we can dry out our clothing, our clothes racks allowed on in our rooms? Sorry. Um, in some of the laundry rooms, there are clotheslines that are there. Like I know in McKinnon, there's um, a number of clotheslines in the basement, and you're welcome to hang dry your clothes there. Um, be aware, however, that it is in a fairly common space, and uh, I wouldn't recommend putting super expensive high-end designer clothing and then having somebody misplace it. Um, but you can hang dry stuff as well. If you want to have uh, dryers in, or racks in your room, yes, you can have those. That's fine. Uh, how does it work for rest between semesters? Are we allowed to stay during holidays in summer? So I, don't know, I think you touched upon the holidays. For summer, if you really want to stay in residence, you would, uh, yes, need to talk to Patterson Front Desk and apply for the summer, um, for the summer semester, I guess. But... Um, but you'd have to talk to Patterson if, if that's something you're considering. Um, is there ever free hockey or free skating in the arena? Yes, there is. There's definitely free skates that will happen. And I'm not sure about necessarily just like free times to play hockey, but there are lots of hockey intramural teams and opportunities for you to go and uh, play on the ice. Yeah. Can we store our bike in our rooms if we train early and don't want to have to go to an RA storage room we ask that you don't store your bikes in your rooms uh just because we don't want any potential damage to to the rooms the apartments um if you feel that you are going to be getting up early then to be honest what i would suggest is maybe just locking it outside for the time being um and then going from there and if if that seems to be a continued issue then i know we'd be more than happy to speak with you and see if we can figure out a better solution when you get here at that time uh, is it really competitive to get student jobs on campus? To be honest, it can be a little bit competitive, yes, because we are an English campus with a primarily English-speaking population, and Sherbrooke, many of the jobs require you to, if not be French, be perfectly bilingual. So if um, you are looking for an English-specific job, then it is restricted primarily to the Bishop's campus. So that can get tricky sometimes. I'm an international student, and as you said, people roam around in holidays to nearby places for a vacation. In that case, can I keep my stuff in res? Yeah, if you're planning on coming back for the second semester, it's it's no problem to keep mm -hmm. your belongings in residence in your room. Yeah. Yeah, that room is yours for the year. Yeah. You don't have to clean it out yeah. and move back in. Yeah, no, it is yours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like this. Are the residence mattresses really mattresses or are they those weird colored material filled with cotton stuffing? They're mattresses. <laughs> they are real mattresses that we buy from a mattress store. Um, they're not some of these things you've seen in movies that you can tear apart and hide stuff in. It's, you jump on it, it explodes. Yeah, out of this is a mattress. <laughs> it's, it's real. Is there a swimming pool in the sportsplex? Yes, there is. Uh, open swim. They'll post when you can do open swim. Usually it's very early in the morning and, and then kind of periodically throughout the afternoon. But, yeah, there is a pool. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
that seems to be the last question. We did have one correction um, later on. Um, and one of the things was about the parents' barbecue. And this year we got confirmation that it is starting at 3 p.m. on the move-in day. So when your parents are coming, um, 3 p.m. is when that will be. So if you guys have... Thanks, Chloe. Yeah, Chloe, we can read your, your posts. Um, there vegan stuff at the barbecue. Yes. Yeah, there should be actually. Yep. They make a mean guacamole. So <laughs> there's lots of guacamole and salad. There'll be different vegan options as well, absolutely. Um, so whenever we have those those big communal meals and stuff, there are always those options. But if you are more concerned about that, again, contact myself and I'll help direct you to our, uh, our catering and dining managers and they can help you out there. Yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. It was good talking to you. And one last question. How can <laughs> I contact you? So um, residents at ubishops.ca, and if you say, you know, questions about the webinar or... Question things, for Brenna. Question for Brenna, yeah, I'm happy to get that. My personal email is bhaydock, so B-H-A-Y, I wonder if I can, can we type in? Okay, he's going to try typing in, we'll hope this works. Uh, so B-H-A-Y-D-O-C-K at ubishops.ca, oh. sent all maybe? Okay, we're gonna try this out here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that worked. We'll see if it did. Maybe. Um, and- uh, Oh, it worked, okay, good. It worked, I got uh, it, it worked, and then no. Nope. Okay. Yes Someone got it. <laughs> okay, well, one of you, lucky few you got it. Um, so that's the best way. So, yeah. And then, yeah, if there's questions for either of us, well, I'll get it and I'll direct it to both of us. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. And um, I have a name of someone who wants a presentation on email, but also if you want to watch this again, it should be on the YouTube channel uh, for bishops. Is it bishops or recruitment specifically? Bishops. Bishop specifically. There you have it. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys, as Warren said. And we look forward to seeing you on August 29th after 9.30 in the morning. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. We're really excited. We're excited to see you guys too. Take care. Have a good summer. Let's see.